Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a little while since we've had a version update, but this one's a pretty good one. We'll just go through some of the changes. So this is update version 2024.14.3, which is the V12 version of the user interface, not to be confused with V12 FSD. This is just a user interface. This is an Australian vehicle. Uh, we don't have the latest FSDs here, unfortunately. But uh, this update has got some really good improvements in it. So we'll go through the release notes first and have a quick look. The first one is addition of Audible. Some visual updates, so it's a whole new UI. Um, some good improvements there. Full screen vehicle controls, larger playback controls, autopilot driving visualizations. That's something that the US cars have had where they can expand those. So that's been added to now to Australian vehicles. Sleek and more compact driving mode strip and redefined driving readouts. Some updates to Spotify, uh, Q and playback speed. That's been one that's been uh, asked for by a lot of people, the playback speed one. Hands-free trunk, unfortunately I can't demonstrate. It requires ultra wideband uh, which currently Tesla's only implemented for iPhone. So iPhone 11 Plus has that. Uh, a lot of the Androids do have it. I have, I've got an Android, but it hasn't been implemented yet, so coming soon. And that'll essentially, it's an option you can set. You stand behind the trunk and stay still for a couple seconds. It'll make a, a, a chime noise. Um, so if you don't want to open the trunk, you step away. If you do, you stay there. So if your hands are full, it'll open the trunk for you, which is a great addition. Preview of sentry mode, so if, you, if your vehicle alarm triggers, you can look at the uh, the footage on the phone to see what's going on, um, see if it's actually a valid alarm or not. Another one that's been well sought after is the speed camera chime. So now when you're approaching a speed camera, you can set that, and, and you'll have to set it the first time, so navigation, speed camera chime, that will alert you um, audibly that a camera is coming up which is a great one as well another good one average speed zones it'll show you your average speed and the distance remaining in that speed zone not that any of us speed but uh, it's good to have that information trip progress bar uh, it shows you your progress bar towards the end of your your trip along with the congestion and that kind of thing the other good thing with this one it, it also does it in the back screen so if you've got the kids there with the uh, are we there yet you can just tell them to look at the screen and they can see what the progress is this one I think some um, handy as well um, so now it gives you a bit more of a, a, a alert to let you know there's a better route available I think that's it's a good thing it I've, ha I've had it in the past where it reroutes and you don't notice it so this should hopefully be a, a good improvement Wiper controls, yeah I know, um, wipers still aren't perfect, although mine have been really, really good for the last couple of months now. In fact, during rain events, I'd say they've been better than any car I've had with, with rain sensors. The um, speed they adjust to the different volumes of rain, that's a common complaint with all vehicles that, that have rain sensors. Um, it's been fantastic, and you go under an overpass, it immediately stops and starts again when you come back out. There's um, been some really good improvements in the wipers um, I do get the occasional draw wipe still so they're not perfect and I know they haven't been completely consistent though I'm seeing more and more people say the same thing now that the auto wipers have been excellent for the last month or two so hopefully I can continue to improve that but in the meantime now you can hit your wiper button on the on the steering wheel sorry that one there and in the case of stalks, the other one on the end of the stalk, and use the left scroll wheel up and down rather than going side to side, which is a bit easier going up and down to adjust your uh, windscreen wiper speed. So that's a good temporary fix or help to um, alleviate problems that people are having with their with their wipers. Uh, again, that will hopefully get so sorted out soon, but yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. But um, it's been very promising what I've seen so far. The always security improvements, um, other updates. So when you park, you can expand the browser to full screen, easier access to car wash mode, rear passengers seeing the trip details. You can swipe to delete 
sentry mode recordings now. Valet mode on will alert you on the phone when it gets uh, when it gets unlocked or shifted out of park. A few more game updates and the back screen now turns off automatically when there's no passengers which is good saves a bit of energy so those are all the um, recorded updates there one that wasn't listed there and I'll do a drive later this afternoon or this evening to show you but the font size and the layout for the um, speed is much better this the font size is greatly increased um, which yeah I haven't a problem with it in the past but some people sort of miss the the front head-up display but I think that will alleviate those people that uh, struggle with the um, speed being on the main screen it's 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 a much bigger and very prominent um, they've also moved a few things around um, I'll show you that when we drive but the uh, regen bar is on the right hand side now for example um, you've got these bigger controls down here which is great you can go into your playlist and see your um, up next um, and you can also drag that across and see the driving visualizations or the map however you want it uh, one thing I would have liked to have seen um, some of the US models I, I believe still have this I'm not sure if this update changes that for them where they can actually set how much screen they want there's only, there's only either that setup or that setup when you're driving you can't have anything in between so your maps up the corner here which is fine and the driving visualizations I, I like it when you're driving especially when you know where you're going or on a long trip I think it's great having the, the, the big screen for the visualizations but I would like to see where you could say you do two-thirds of the visualizations and one-third map or something like that but um, that's how it currently works Another one, which I'm not sure if it's a change or not, I just haven't noticed it previously, is they've got a customise button here on our, on our main display, so we can hit customise there and drag things around. Um, that, look, uh, it may be just I hadn't noticed it previously, but that looks good if it's a, if it's a new addition. Um, if it's not, it's still good, but uh, I think that's a new addition. So that's good to see. So, um, in the in the visualisations, when you're driving, the, the tail lights of other cars are definitely a lot more prominent. Uh, I'm not sure if it showed them previously, but it definitely does now when people you know, hit their brakes. You can see their tail lights and their um, indicators very much more prominently than I believe I've ever seen before. Um, and maybe they just didn't show before, I'm not sure, but um, it's, it's really good now. Another change I noticed that wasn't listed is the lock sound now is considerably louder. So those who've got a, uh, a screaming goat or something similar, just be aware of that because you might give someone a heart attack. It was actually... Uh, Quite a, quite a lot louder than I've, I've normally had it so it was uh, interesting and one of the other undocumented changes is the shifter is now a much smaller swipe so it's a lot easier I guess to go backwards and forwards I also noticed that the 3d park assist or parking visualizations maybe just because the screen's so much bigger but um, they seem a lot better one thing I, I would like which still hasn't happened is a way to activate that when you're moving forward currently it only really activates when you're going really slow and something gets close enough but um, and the trick I do to, to avoid that or to when I'm parking like if I want to see the lines when I'm parking forward so I'll be driving in through the bay behind I'll just quickly swipe reverse and forward again um, as I'm moving forward it doesn't really slow you down that much and it brings up the um, visualization nicely but it would be great if we had a little button we could push just to activate that when we wanted to um, it's only a small thing it just helps to see the lines as you as you're parking I like it but I do find that, that that's even better than it was before unfortunately we don't have the auto park yet which is tied to the um, FSD stack but hopefully that's coming soon for Australian vehicles but certainly I don't miss anything going from USS to uh, to this system I think it's a much better system and with the auto park it's um, even better so uh, I'm very keen to see that. This is where you activate the speed camera chime. So on the navigation and speed camera chime there on and off. Another big one, which is uh, I know we've had, we've had a couple of false starts on this one, but um, I've had it confirmed now from several owners of older vehicles is that the adaptive high beams for any of the older vehicles that have the um, capability, the hardware for it 
is now available. So if you've got this update, check in lights, adapter 5 beams, and you should be able to turn them on there. So here's a quick look at the Audible implementation. I don't have a uh, account there at the moment, but um, there's a bunch of free stuff that's already on there as part of the, part of the default setup. Okay, so in the car now, and I'll just show you one other feature that um, was undocumented that's uh, a new one. If you're opening the trunk, you can actually hit pause any time and stop it from opening any further. You can set a maximum opening on the trunk anyway, so I'm not sure how that's going to be really useful, but um, just a, another undocumented change that's been happen that's happened in this update. Here's your sentry recordings, being able to delete them with a swipe. So in the car now, and as I mentioned earlier, there's your uh, new redesigned uh, area for where it shows speedo and other information there, such as speed limits, etc. I didn't really have a problem with the, lot, the previous font size, but uh, this is much better. And I know some people did have problems with it um, and sort of preferred a upfront display. Um, personally, I don't think there's any need for one. Uh, and this makes it even less likely that uh, anyone's going to need one. So with the uh, visualizations at full screen, you can really see how much the car can see. It's pretty amazing, especially during the day when you've got um, you know, hundreds of cars around. The, the camera system is, is quite amazing to see how much you can see. I'm not sure if we'll see any brake lights, there's not much traffic around, but uh, that's something, I'm not sure if it was there before or not, um, definitely wasn't as prominent as it is now. And it's great, uh, you can see the, tr the brake lights and the indicators that the car can see through the camera system. So down the bottom here we've got the new visualization progress bar type uh, visualization for when you've got a destination put into the navigation system. The, um, it's all blue now but during the day when there's traffic you'll have the yellows and reds along there. So it's a good display. Um, it's also available in the back seat too. So here's your regen meter on the right hand side here. As you can see it goes uh, in, in dark mode, it goes white as you go towards the, as you use power and it'll go green as we regen. Obviously it was left and right at the top there, so that's, uh, that's a new change. As we pull up to the lights here you'll see the uh, brake lights start to show up. They're a bit uh, more obvious during the day but definitely uh, has changed I believe uh, indicators as well and it's good that it's able to differentiate between tail lights at night time to actual brake lights so that's quite impressive and you now we've got a few more cars around we can have a look around and see the um, how much you can actually see with those cameras which is again quite impressive anyhow I think that covers off on all the updates that I hadn't actually been able to show while not driving. Hope you enjoyed that. I hope you get to the, um, this version soon and please uh, like and subscribe and share the video. Thank you.